Well, that worked out. I think I've got the hang of it. Professor. Ah, it's you. Where I'm going is hardly your business. Do me a favor and mind your own, won't you? <laughs> Ever the professor, aren't you? So, what's your deal? Worried about my well-being? <laughs> That's adorable. I get the sense you're not so hot at assessing people. Just giving you a hard time. Either way, it doesn't matter much to me. There's no slowing me down tonight. I've got important things to attend to right now. <sighs> there you go with that nose of yours. It still isn't your business. But it looks like you won't let me leave until I tell you. You get your way this time. There's a dispute. Or maybe treachery is the more fitting word. Regardless, a purge is required. <sighs> I see I've got to spell it all out for you. One of my goons double-crossed the gang. He absconded with his boss's small fortune. My small fortune. And buddied up with another gang. Members of the gang are recognizable by their scorpion tattoos. Suffice it to say, they're not a group you want to tangle with. Despite that, I'm not about to just roll over and play dead on this. So I figured I'd pay them a little visit, have a spot of tea with their boss. Makes sense, you know. <laughs> As a former mercenary, I knew you'd get it. You know how things are done in our world. I play my cards wisely. I wouldn't play if there wasn't any hope of winning. There you go being adorable again. I don't think that's a good idea, but thanks. Better head off now. I've got people waiting for me just outside of town. See you around. <sighs> what is it you're after? Money? Me? Or are you just looking for someone to kill? You seem adamant. So, I'll allow it. Won't hurt to have backup if things go south. I trust you, for now. But I don't know how reliable you actually are. Just so we're clear, you mess with any of my people, I'll slit your throat without hesitation. Got that? We had a great result. How long will this take? Let's put this to the test. Oh, <laughs> I see now. I'm closing in on expertise. I think I get it now. I'm getting the hang of it. Mastery is within my grasp. Thank you. Your performance surpassed my expectations. A new path to tread.
as expected. I've passed out. A true noble never... I passed. Well done. Oh, yeah. Thanks to you. I have success. Easy. Oh, what a relief! All that hard work's paid off. <laughs> that was a breeze. Thank you. 
there ever. Easy peasy. Harder from now on. Hey there. Oh, it's only you. Is there some reason you're here? Your gaze was rather piercing for someone who was just looking. See now, you found yourself captivated by my charms. <laughs> this sort of thing happens all the time to those of us blessed with such transcendent beauty. If you say so, you seem a trifle stuck on the point if you ask me. Now then, you may call yourself my tutor if you wish, and I shall attend your classes. But none of this charade will make the idea of a mercenary teaching me any less absurd. <laughs> what was that look? Are you trying to convey that I'm a mere commoner like yourself? Well, you are correct. Think of me as a temporarily embarrassed noble. Even a gilded wyvern must take refuge in its cave occasionally. But in time, it will soar free once more. I shall fly, bold and beautiful, into the skies again. My nobility and all of House Nouvelle shall be restored. The luck isn't a thing that you can bestow or that I need. I will do this. When I restore the glory of my house, you may serve me in some menial way. I may even pay you. Oh, you would decline the honor of attending to me without a second thought? Hm. Say whatever you like, if it makes you feel better. It shall not sway me one way or the other. <laughs> You look as though you want to say something. Allow me to save you the effort. If you intend to tutor me, I will require you to first prove that time will not be wasted. Show me not just your talent for teaching, but your wisdom, your skill, your mettle, your sense of authority. <laughs> of course! I've been struck by my own genius. You may assist me in my research. That ought to provide a chance for you to grasp the extent of how magnificent I am. It will also afford me the time I need to scrutinize your character. It's a plan so perfect that you can't turn it down, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
practice yields results. What? Well, look who it is. How are you, Chatterbox? Gotten the hang of the whole teaching thing yet? That makes sense. You certainly strut around here like someone who belongs. You seem like one of those people who blends in. I could see you just about anywhere and think, Oh, that person's here. Makes sense. I wasn't paying you some sort of compliment. To me, it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in the goddess. You're here supporting the church and that makes you no different from the others. I can't stand that. No need to apologize. I just have a rocky history with the church is all. They betrayed me, or at any rate, horribly mistreated me. So I'm not a huge fan, but keep that to yourself. When I was little, a lady locked me up and held me captive for a long time. The Knights of Saros rescued me, promised to protect me. But then they hid me away in abyss. So all the knights did was move me from one cage to another. Wouldn't you call that a betrayal? It was all for the greater good. They didn't want to put anyone important in danger. As for me, my life was expendable. That guy Alois was nice to me though. And he told me a bunch of hilarious jokes to cheer me up. Do they not have sarcasm where you come from? Keep up. Anyway, that's why I hate the church. Someday you'll hate them too. They only hired you because they needed a warm body to fill the post. When you're of no use to them, they'll get rid of you without a second thought. Sorry, that sounded more menacing than I intended. I'm just telling you how these people think. They have rules. Dogma. They want us all bound to their system so they can control us. I don't do well with that sort of stuff. That's why I ran away from home in the first place. Yeah, ran far, far away. But as far as I ran, it wasn't far enough. I got dragged back into society, chains and all. The kind of world I want doesn't exist. I'm getting too dark for you, aren't I? Forget I said anything. Your future seems bright at least. You can just sit back and enjoy whatever comes your way. I'm just saying, don't rest your entire future on the church. It's not as steady a foundation as it seems. Anyway, that's all. I'll be going now. are far too- And no. Yes? I bet you've come to invite me to your class. What with my stupendous grades and all. I would actually enjoy being in your class. Quite a lot. This was a successful interaction, I must say. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. Ah, Professor. It would seem that a minor lord in Fargus is raising an army. This poses a threat, obviously, but not one for the kingdom, for the church. I mean, Fargus doesn't even have a king at present. There's something unsettling about this army. You had better ensure we're fully prepared. Cover. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. Here's 
store. We are truly blessed with how... Good timing, Professor. There's actually something I want to speak with you about. Will you put me in your class, too? There are so many things I want to learn from you. Being in another class makes it especially challenging. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to studying under you. I will be extra diligent with my studies. Thank you for this opportunity. Don't you love looking after- I wish girls were so easy to deal with. What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey, I got a girl with- Right. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say- Why would such a- Oh, Professor- A ghost might rise- Oh, Professor! I have a small request for you. I'd love it if you would add me to your class. I can just tell that studying under you every day would be such a treat. Wow, really? Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I hope to learn a lot from you. the church yourself, I hope... Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before. It was by request of the sun. favor and you strike me as the charitable type touchy touchy I'll get right to it I need some gold care to help a fellow out hard times all around then well it was worth a shot guess that debt collector traveled all the way to Garrick Mach for nothing if I were you, I'd feel bad about leaving the poor guy hanging like that, but it is what it is. No, it's a lose-lose. I owe the church, too. That means any work I do here, they take a cut. The only way to escape my financial burden is to get clear out of Fodlin. Oh, I had... didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's just joking, yeah? 
We all have to decide where we belong and then fight for it. Can't let your wallet control your fate. If money was all I cared about, I never would have walked away from inheriting a baron's house. Eh, it's nothing. It was a minor house in the east of the Alliance. I like to say I stepped aside for the good of the house. Has a nicer ring to it than saying I just wasn't cut out for the gig. Or that I lacked the right temperament. My distinguished little bro took my place. Fact is, he's a much better man for the job. Don't go feeling sorry for me now. I didn't mind one bit. Truth is, I'd have been miserable in that life. Having that title was nothing but fuss. Fuss is the worst. This way of life suits me much better. And you? You showing up at Garrick Mach was a coincidence wrapped in happenstance. Your pops was a renowned mercenary leader. It can be safely assumed you'll follow in his footsteps. But don't you ever feel like that life was decided for you? Better start pondering that one real quick, pal. Why keep breathing if your life isn't your own, yeah? Well, there's a decided lack of gold here, so I'll be off now. You think on what I said. That looks appetizing. This is delicious! This looks delicious. This food is a revelation. I like this. Ah, uh, I can eat. I would be liking that. Wise indeed to set me to this task. I'm an excellent cook. Maybe. This is hardly a palatable ingredient. But if we season it just right, nobody will be the wiser.
You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? Yes, I have a story for you. It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adrestian Empire. One was Derek von Eyer. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. And the other... Was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. You interrupted me! The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel, and you did not allow me to say it! My apologies, Ferdinand. Well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. Linhard, at least try to do some training. Use a staff, or a rod, or a broom for all I care. My apologies, but I cannot train right now. I have plans for later and don't wish to tire myself. Kaspar invited me to train with him, you see. You slept through the whole debate, didn't you? Fine, I'll summarize it for you. Not the whole debate. I closed my eyes only after I knew what reading would cover the topic. There you are! Don't tell me you were sneaking out to do some training. Of course not. I was sneaking out to avoid you. How did you find me this time? A mere coincidence. Why would you wish to hide from me? Because you're an awful nuisance? Why do you pester me so? To ensure that your talent is not wasted due to your lack of... It's none of your business how I spend my time or how I use my talent. Have you assumed the role of my mother? You overplay the part. She was only half as overbearing. Wh what is the matter with you? As house leader, I'm trying to prevent you from causing trouble for yourself and our classmates. Fine, I'll try harder. Really. I'm sure you see all this as my interfering with your duty as a leader. Have you considered how it feels for those of us who serve below you? You are a serious pain, you know. How so? But you're like a mother who insists on accompanying her son to his own knighting ceremony. That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? No, I'd say that it's putting it lightly. All you're interfering is greatly hindering my research. I see. Very well. You've made your perspective perfectly clear. <laughs> Training again. You're certainly working hard, Kaspar. 
You scared me. You should have said something. I did, but no matter. What has your training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill-advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Burglies, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens, but the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Kaspar? Hey, now, come on. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. Uh, I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? You'll never understand her. Petra, you seem to be flourishing in your new environment. Is all going well for you? Lady Edelgard, everything is well with me. Thank you for your question. Everyone shows great kindness, even while I am still learning about the language. I'm glad to hear it. After all, a Bridget Royal like yourself is of vital importance to the future of the Empire. If you ever need anything, please let me know. It's my job to watch out for you, after all. If that is your want, I will rely on you if I have the need. However, I will not have that need. I can resolve any problems that occur by myself. I don't doubt it. Perhaps I'm worrying too much. I just don't know what I would say to your family if something were to happen to you. Do not spend your worry on me. In Bridget, there is a phrase we say. You cannot shoot two birds with one arrow. Bridget and I are that second bird. Your first target is your ambition. Can you disagree? There is certainly truth in your words. I do have ambitions that transcend all else for me. When I ascend the throne, there are certain things I must do. Tell me, Petra, who do you think I am? Huh? I will tell you, I am Edelgard von Hressfeld, and yes, I'm attempting to do what no one else can. I'm prepared to shoot two birds, or even three, with a single arrow. That is the least of the impossible things I will accomplish. If you don't need my patronage, then prove it. Show me your power. Never settle for being the bird. Be the arrow instead. I will take your words to my heart. And you will be seeing my power. I give you my promise. Hmm. With this idea, I may be able to get the one up on Edelgard. This again. Hubert! I wish you would not sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Maybe you would be more perceptive if your mind were less burdened by sedition. Sedition? Absurd. This is an important project. Yes, I heard. A new way to prove how superior you are to Lady Edelgard. She is not your rival, Ferdinand. She is above you. A noble like you ought to know his place. <laughs> Anything is better than being a noble like you. Every time you open your mouth, it's Lady Edelgard this or Lady Edelgard that. Do you ever think for yourself? You follow her around like a pet. You spend all of your time fretting over her, and yet you never truly express an opinion of your own. Before you reprimand me, take a moment to consider your own failings. Your nonsense is tiresome, so I hope this will be the last time I have to remind you. 
Lady Edelgard is the Imperial Princess. You are merely the Prime Minister's son. Yes, I understand that. But my duty is to guide her, to give frank advice when she is on the wrong course of action. That is what I strive to do, always. Thus, my devotion to surpass Edelgard, so that if she needs guidance, I will be prepared to give it. If you think it is tiresome to have a mind of your own, you will never be much of an advisor. Does the river of filth pouring out of your mouth ever stop flowing? Your obsession with all things superficial is disgusting. It's no use. You're hopeless. I'll take my leave. I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here! Well, this is fascinating. Following this equation... Linhart. Here again, I see. Go away, Hubert. Now is not a good time. Ah, yes. The double line becomes a helix, and its arc... No, that cannot be correct. Now is exactly the time. Lady Edelgard requests your presence. Come. The lecture is about to start. Politely inform her that my research is vastly more important than whatever it is she has to say. While your passion may be admirable, it is sadly misdirected. This matter takes priority. Return to your hobby when your duty is done. Hobby? This research will most certainly prove useful in the future. The Empire requires you to be useful now. I should think you would want the same. You have an almost unparalleled intellect. A singular focus, and unfettered imagination. In truth, you have talents that many, including myself, will never have the privilege of possessing. Are you complimenting me, Hubert? That alone deserves to be studied. Let me finish. I haven't an ounce of respect for the cause you have chosen to waste your talents on. Which changes, frequently, I might add, with no rhyme, reason, or results. Learn to apply yourself to something constructive. You may still have a bright future. That sounds suspiciously as if you're not going to leave me alone. I just want to live a life doing things that interest me. Is that so wrong? That is unacceptable. Even for a nobleman. Her Highness will soon ascend the throne. She is attempting to deal with such noble privilege head on. You have a point, and I understand where you're coming from. But I can't do it. I can't bring myself to work for someone else. Pathetic. Keep to your books, then. Goodbye, Linhart. <laughs> Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Um, uh, what? I didn't do anything! No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are! I can tell! Just get it over with! What did I do? You did not do anything wrong! Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Can't breathe! Too scared! I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. <gasps> Easy for you to say! I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding in your room. It seems like something must be troubling you, for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No! Uh... No thanks, I'm fine. See, I'm breathing now. <laughs> you fixed me, can I go? Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Just stop it, I'm not interested. Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand, otherwise I will have to pick you up and carry you and neither of us will- 
What if I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business! Get lost! Ugh. I sprained my wrist. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No, I'm done for. You'll be the death of me for sure. Maybe I should just come back later. Ferdinand? Our professor is wanting to see you. Hmm. <sighs> he has much concentration right now. I will wait for him to be finished reading. Mm hmm. Diplomacy has an effect upon weapons development. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, Petra! How long have you been there? A short time. You were devoting all of your attention to that book. Forgive me, I was fully absorbed in my reading. I see you have been reading as well. Anything interesting? I am studying the history of Fodlin. A history book? What a keen student you are. And it's about House Hressfeld. Certainly a stimulating topic. I am wishing to learn all about Fodlin. What is the book you are reading? Oh, this? This relates to a little hobby of mine. The regional history of weapons development in Fodlin. Militaries have to adapt their weapons according to terrain and climate. And they have to keep up with technologies in other regions. It's very interesting. Yes, it is interesting. I see why you would be enjoying that kind of reading. Oh, does that excite your curiosity too? Perhaps you would care to read more about it then. This is just one of 18 volumes, and our library has the entire collection. I give you my gratitude. Research of weapons could be a good reference for me. Oh, please take my apologies. I was meaning to tell you that our professor is wanting to see you. Oh, it is not like you to forget something. I suppose I ought to be going then. Yes, it is a rarity that I forget something. But it is not impossible. <laughs> Stupid rain! Go back to the stupid cloud you came from. I'm soaked. Achoo! What a pain. Happy? Yikes, you look like you just crawled out of a lake. Here, dry yourself off. And don't just stand there, you'll catch a cold. Come on, I'll make you some tea. Oh, um, okay. Huh, it's been ages since I had a nice cup of tea during a rainstorm. Pretty nice, eh? I don't drink tea very often. It is nice. But what does the rain have to do with anything? Doesn't rain make you want to read a book? Or rather, nap with a book on your lap. Though, I guess I'd like that no matter the weather. But then, if the book is too good, not only will I be unable to sleep, my tea would get cold. That makes brewing it a wasted effort. Ah, and that's why I don't drink tea when it rains. Right. Thanks for clearing that up. And thanks for the cup of tea. Well, I'm pretty much dry now. Gotta say, though, I'm kind of confused. Huh? About what? This just seems way out of character for you. You're so focused on yourself, you've barely ever spoken to me before now. Oh, good point. The thing is, I'm not cut out for battle. If a fight breaks out, I'm only a liability. It's better for everyone if I keep my distance. What does fighting have to do with... Oh, I get it. You think I'm gonna sigh. You're just like the others. But if that's true, why are you acting so different? What do you mean? Use your words to make the things in your head make sense to the rest of us. Fine. Here's what's in my head. I don't understand why you're being nice to me. Look around us. Nobody else will even risk coming near me. They're probably afraid you'll sigh, since you looked pretty rough when we came in. Makes sense. 
Your sighs are disastrous. If I can prevent one with a nice, lazy cup of tea, it's the least I can do. I see. You did it for your own sake. Well, whatever your reasons, I'm surprised that you'd even consider doing this for me. Surprised or not, it's no skin off my back. I'll keep doing what I do regardless of anyone's expectations. Think on that. I expected you to be a hazard, but you weren't. No harm, no foul, no need to sigh. If only it were that simple. painting Bernadetta <laughs> Who are you? Where did you come from? It's just me, Linhart. What are you doing? Painting! Just painting! Not important! Am I in your way? I'm in your way! I'll just go! I'm going! No need for all that. I just came out here to read. I'll stay quiet and still so as not to bother you. How's that? If you want to go, that's fine too. Um... Say, aren't you usually holed up inside? Ah, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for coming here! I'm sorry for bothering you! You're mad, aren't you? You look really mad! I'll just pack up! I'll be gone before you know it! Mad? At you? Never. I rather admire you, in fact. I fantasize about shutting myself in my room and never going outside again. It sounds like paradise. However, I wouldn't be able to perform my research. That, Bernadetta, is a problem. What? You admire me? Nah! No way! I know a trick when I see one! What are you plotting? So you want to copy me, is that it? And what's a copy do with the original? Replace it! Well, I've got you figured out. I won't just sit back and take it. I'll fight you! What? That's not... Ugh. This is too much hassle. I'm leaving. Pretty tired, Linhart. I think you could use a little more of the fighting spirit. I believe you have enough fighting spirit for the both of us. Enough? <laughs> There's no such thing. You need as much as you can get if you're gonna train. I'd rather pace myself. You're becoming too much like your father. I still recall with startling clarity the time he forced me to do some training. Ah, I remember your father wasn't too happy about that. Our fathers actually got into a fight over it. They hate one another so much, I simply cannot fathom what's wrong with the two of them. I wish they'd just have it out already. One big fight to settle things. My father would win, obviously, but it would still be fun to watch. That would be rather cruel. I don't think anyone in Fodland could beat up your father. My father does have the height advantage, though. <laughs> height advantage? What does that matter? When two opponents are of similar strength, the one with the height advantage wins. It's pure math. Whoever forces the other to submit wins. That's how fighting works. It has nothing to do with height. Brute strength alone doesn't decide a fight. And taller people have longer limbs, too. Longer limbs equates to a longer reach. Taller people can hit you from farther away. Oh, and they have more leg strength. There's also that... While I'm bored explaining this, I think you get my point. No, I don't get it. Now you're talking about limb length and reach? None of that matters when you're up close and brawling. You know, I'm going to agree with you just so I don't have to keep talking. If you've got something else to say, then come out and say it. Actually, no, forget this. I'll prove it to you myself. Some of those new knights look pretty tall. I'll fight one just for you. And off he goes. Uh... They're all so strong, I couldn't land a single blow. So it's as I said then, isn't it? The tallest fighter has the advantage. And my father could beat yours in a fight.
Petra, would you pause a moment? Yes? Are you wanting something? I was observing your spear work, and I wonder if you don't think your transitions are sloppy. The way you move your arm before a strong thrust hinders your movement and slows your spear on its way back. It leaves a rather large opening. Which arm? My left or right? I think the right... No, actually it's both. It's something about the way you move your elbows. I am not understanding. Can you show me, please? Demonstrate? No, I'd hate to get sweat all over my book. But I must correct this. Please. Or are you unable to do, and you can only teach? I am more of a theorist than a practitioner. I advise and you implement. Very simple. Then... Please advise again. It's all quite simple. Sometimes you make a big stab downwards, right? Before that, you lift up. At that point, you sort of let the tension go and stop. It ruins the momentum of the stab. How can I be lifting up with no... no unnecessary moving? It's the arm movement that's extraneous. Calculate the locus of the spear and the elasticity of the muscles. Locus? Elasticity? Can you not just be showing me? Please. If you are showing me, I will learn it with quickness. I won't waste your time with such demonstrations. You're a smart one, Petra. You'll sort it out. Besides, I need to go now. I have a prior appointment to keep. Linhart only likes talking. It is on myself to prevail. I guess taking them all up in one go is a bad idea. Annette? Are you okay with all those boxes? Linhart! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. I don't know if I'll be able to handle all these. I thought I may as well get it over with, so I decided to carry them all at once. Big mistake. Smart thinking! Do it all at once! That's what they say, right? Work smart, not hard. I think you've got it from here, so I'm off to take a nap. Good luck. But maybe you could help it. Nope. Gone. It's fine. It is fine. Just a little further to my quarters. I've got this. I'll just... Just... Huh? They didn't fall. That was almost pretty bad. Oh, Linhart, I thought you had an important nap to get to. I'd call it insomnia, but I suppose it was really just a guilty conscience. I came to see if you needed help. And, sure enough, here you are, about to tip all the boxes on the floor. Thanks. Though it may have been best if you had just chipped in from the start. Huh? But it was your job. Why would I step in? You clearly had things handled. Then why help me at all? If the boxes had fallen just now, everyone would have had to help tidy them up anyway anything broke, more boxes would need to be carried. And if all of that came to pass, then there'd be noise and more noise and no chance of my taking a nap. Huh. But if you had helped me from the start, there would have been no danger of anything being dropped at all. Correct. But there was no danger yet, and so there was no need for my help. So I left you to it. But try carrying one box at a time instead of straining to do it all at once. Work smart, not hard, as they say. All right, well, I think you've got it from here, so I'm off. Good luck. <laughs> After all that, he's not gonna help me. All right, time for some more... Oh, Petra. Hi. Kaspar, do you want to train with each other? Uh, yeah, sure. You have had new training recently, and great improvements. I want great improvement too. Will you give me help? Well, hey, look at that. You pay more attention than I gave you credit for. I have been trying new training methods. They're definitely paying off. My movements are much sharper lately, more precise. 
I am knowing that. I want that too. You teach, I learn. We both get more strength. It will be greatness. All right. I mean, I guess we can give it a shot. Um, Petra? Yes, Kaspar? Um, no, n never mind. Sorry. I was just thinking about something else. Nothing at all. Let's train. I heard a question in your voice. Say it. No, no, no. It's really nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. I will not be worrying. Can we begin the training? Ah, oh, fine. We can talk about it if you insist. You can stop pretending like you don't know. What am I knowing? About my father. Your father? He is of the military in the Empire. I hear he has great skill. No, not that. Well, it's kind of about that. I'm talking about when Dagda and Bridget invaded the Empire. My father led the Empire's army that fended off the invaders. Your father was in that battle. Did you really not know? My father killed yours. You... How long have you had this knowing? I just found out recently. I had no idea before then. But it's all I've been able to think about since. So, now you have the truth. Petra? <sighs> Damn it. What am I supposed to do now? <sighs> that was my worst mistake yet. Why am I so clumsy all the time? The women laughed and forgave me, but... Oh, how am I supposed to face them now? Hey there, Annette. What's with the sour face? Everything okay? I don't think I've ever seen you look so miserable. Don't tease me like that, Kaspar. Can't you see I'm down? Sorry, sorry. Y you know I didn't mean it. Did something happen? You don't have to share if you don't want to, but I think talking it out might help. You might be right about that. Are you sure you don't mind? Not at all. Well, today they were short on staff in the dining hall, so I offered to help out, but I sort of messed up. Big. Oh no. What happened? All the plates in the kitchen went flying through the air, and the pot started giving off this weird blue steam. Wow, sounds more like art than cooking to me. The people in the dining hall saw the chaos and started panicking, and then soldiers came running. Finally, Catherine appeared and shut everyone up with a slash of Thunderbrand. All I was trying to do was help out. But in the end, I just ended up making more work for everyone. I'm awful like that. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Accidents happen. It's not like you were trying to make a mess. I know. The women at the dining hall laughed and forgave me. But... Was anyone hurt? Well, no, but... Well, there you go! No need to dwell on it and keep moping around. You had a bad day, but I'm sure you'll do better tomorrow. You know what? You're right! I guess all I can do is try harder next time. Thanks, Kaspar. That really did help me feel better. I can't keep moping around. I've got to work on my cooking skills. And I can count on you to be my taste tester, right? Right! Uh, sure. Just as long as you're not making any new art projects. <laughs> Petra's really nice. Never yells, never says mean things about people. Maybe she'd be my friend. Oh, there she is now. Okay, Bernie, you can do this. Bernadetta, are you needing help with something? <laughs> How did you know? Do you have eyes in the back of your head or something? I do not have that, no. Right. Um, can I ask you something? Do you want to, um, maybe, uh, be friends or something? Maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like me. I don't know what you think of me. What I am thinking? I am thinking that you remind me of Prey. What? Yes, 
like a rabbit in the tall grass. Always watching for enemies, and you flee at any sign of danger. You are quick also. I must be careful that I am not hunting Bernie when I take out my bow. Oh, you try not to shoot me. That's, um, nice. You have similarities with prey. That is all I mean to be saying. S so you're saying you might end up hunting me? There is no need to have concern. I will make sure my arrows are not hitting you. That isn't comforting! Whatever I did to deserve this, forgive me! You do not need forgiveness, but it is yours if you are wanting it. Was I saying something wrong? chase me. Maybe if I just hold really, really still. <sighs> Ahem. <sighs> Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. Uh, unless I'm offending you just by standing here. No, here. I believe this is yours. Huh? Yeah, that's my satchel. Wait, where did you get that? Stop asking questions and just take it. No! Trap! It's a trap! Why are you acting like this? Acting? Does this terror on my face look fake to you? You're being difficult. Come on, this is yours. I can't! Your icy glare has frozen me completely! Shut up, just take the thing. No! Please don't kill me! What? Who's going to... Sword! He's got a sword! My sword! How did you... I can't do this anymore! What an odd girl. But she's certainly caught my attention. I've never seen that technique before. No, oh, I still have to give this back to her. Someone's having fun. Maybe it's coming from the greenhouse. That was really fun, Bernie. Good thing I found such an out-of-the-way spot to play. Only the pretty flowers hurt me here. Isn't that right, little flower? You're the only one who heard, aren't you? What did you think? That was amazing! <laughs> Why is your voice so deep? What? I'm no flower. Oh no, Raphael, you heard it all, didn't you? I did! What kind of instrument was that? I could hear it all the way over at the training grounds. It was great. I didn't know you could play. All the way from the training grounds? Oh. <laughs> That's right. Then I came here to tell you how good you sounded. Good? No. No, I'm on to you. First, you flatter me. Then you get me to perform on stage in front of everyone to humiliate me! Uh... No? But that's a great idea. Everyone should be able to hear your music. Ah, I knew it! Monster! I won't fall victim to your schemes! I don't know what just happened, but I think I might have scared her. Maybe if I just curl into a ball, I'll pass as a boulder. Or a... 
devil. Hey, Bernadetta. <laughs> you can see me? Clearly. You're a tricky one. Always trying to hide when I'm around. Oh, sorry. Please forgive me. If you want forgiveness, then explain yourself. But make it quick. You always ramble on. Um, well, when I was little, my mother and father, they... You've got to be kidding. Cut to the chase, please. Uh, you remind me of one of my old friends. Oh, come now. Whoever this friend of yours is can't possibly compare to me. Uh, I'm telling the truth. All right, all right. What was this friend like then? The way you run and hide from me, they must have been a real piece of work. That's not it at all. He was the assistant to the gardener at our estate. My friend was gentle, trustworthy, gorgeous. And, well, he was the only person who was ever nice to me. We used to run around the gardens playing together. And why is it you keep running away from me? That's... really have to say we hardly even know each other you never have to do anything but if you don't you and I won't have a shot at knowing one another and you'll carry on avoiding me forever but that's no good either okay okay I'll tell you the thing is because of me he got in trouble after that I never saw him again you see my father hated commoners, and when he found out I was spending a lot of time with one, well, he's probably dead now, and it's all my fault! It's because of me! He must have hated me! That... That doesn't sound right to me. Why would you think all that? Nothing you did would make his death your fault. And hating you for something that isn't your fault is absolutely absurd. Delusional, even. He'd definitely hate me if he knew. How would you know anyway? What, did you know my friend or something? In a manner. <sighs> right. So, remember back when you were a kid? You tripped while holding some gardening shears? And your friend got cut pretty badly. Oh, yeah. I remember. But how did you know about that? If I'd bore you any ill will, it would have only been for cutting my face with those damn shears. Cutting your face? Shears? But there's no way! But there is. That friend? That was me, Bernadetta. Anyway, I'm glad I finally got to hear how you felt about all of that. Let's spend time together later and chat about the good old days. Get to know each other again. You're always draining. Such a hard worker. So strong. Hello? Felix? What? You can hear me. That's good. I was worried maybe your ears didn't work. What do you want? Oh, nothing. Nothing in particular, I mean. But now that I'm here, and now that you've asked, when you've finished up, do you think you'd like to join me in the dining hall for something sweet? I'll pass. I don't like sweets. Also, you're a nuisance. Stay away from me. That's not a very nice way to talk to a classmate. Anyway, you sound like you're shooing away a stray cat. Shh, shut up. I am not a stray cat, Felix, and I am not leaving until you take a moment to chat with me. Ah, <sighs> you are a pest. Fine, do what you will. Oh, you better believe I am going to keep doing exactly what I will. <laughs> hmm, maybe instead of a sweet treat, we can get something spicy. Would you like that? 
I've heard the dining hall is serving a dish with some western spices in it. Mmm. Does that sound good, Felix? Would you like something spicy instead of sweet? You're distracting me. When I am hungry, I will eat. Alone. Stop squawking at me. <laughs> well, since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you in peace. Goodbye, Felix. Finally. Oh, is that Petra? Looks like she's out shopping. Hey there, young lady. Are you looking to buy or would you rather cry? Just so you know, there's no beating my prices. Cry. Beating. Are you wanting to battle me? As in a battle of wills? Trust me, kid. You don't want to waste your life trying to beat me at... Huh? Sword or bow? Which are you fighting with? You have skill with both, I am thinking. Petra! What are you doing? Why are you fighting? What, what did she say? I was asked to be coming here and do the shopping, but then this merchant gave me her challenge. Huh? This has to be a misunderstanding. Look, I'll help you. What were you trying to buy? We are needing... vulneraries. Many people make use of them and our stock is lowly. Oh, got it. Just leave this to me. Come on, isn't that price a little high? Surely you can afford to go a bit lower. Are you kidding? This is even lower than my usual bargain rate. Really? Because the shop over by the gates is selling the same item for a little more than half that. Guess I'll have to head back there after all. Hey, let's all take a deep breath. Here's the deal. I'll give you another 10% off. How's that? Make it 20% and you've got a deal. Hmm. You drive a hard bargain. Fine. 20%. But you better be grateful. The shopping was successful. You have my gratitude, Ash. Not a problem. I'm used to this sort of thing. <sighs> Bargaining for prices in Fodland is... complicated. I am thankful for this bargain. Now the extra can be given back to our professor. I had learnings about the customs of Fodland. I have gratitude for that, too. Uh, I wouldn't call it a custom, exactly. It's just a trick we commoners use to save money. Efficiency with money is a wonderful culture. I promise you, it's really nothing special. Where are they? Where are they? Please take my apologies, Ignatz. I did not have enough care. That's okay, Petra. Just... Have you seen my glasses? Glasses? Ah, uh, yes. Transparent lenses for viewing things. Yes, exactly. Yes. Hmm. Your face looks different without the glasses. Ah, well, I dropped them. That's why I'm looking for them. Are these them? Oh, thank the goddess. I thought I might be in trouble there. Are you okay, Petra? You're not hurt? I have no wounds. And you? I'm okay too. Thank you. That is goodness. How long have you needed the lenses anyway? Hmm? Oh, ages. I can't see without them. You've never used glasses, I gather. I guess you don't need them. In Bridget, glasses are not existing. I think all of our eyes must be good there. I kind of figured. <laughs> I'm a little jealous, to tell the truth. Inside the shadows, dangerous beasts are lurking. If you cannot see, you cannot live. So bad eyesight means death? Bridget sounds scary. You need to have sight for hunting, too. If not, you will starve until death. Oh, yeah. Lots of hunting in Bridget, right? 
I guess that requires good eyesight. I wonder why eyes would change and need lenses. Hmm, I must have left it in the library. Oh, is that Felix? Hey, Felix. This is a surprise. I didn't think you had much interest in books. I'm already finished with that one. You can borrow it if you'd like. No need. I was just curious who it belonged to. Why not read a few pages at least while you've got it open? I think you'd really like it. The plot is pretty different from a typical knight's tale, but it's still really good. Do you like stories about adventure and chivalry? No. I despise them. Yeah, well, have you tried reading any? You might find them really interesting. I know I do. What do you find so interesting? Well, for one thing, the knights in these stories are always gallant and brave. And they always value things like friendship, loyalty, and justice. That's the kind of knight I want to be. Ridiculous. Friendship, loyalty, justice. Only fools allow their lives to be ruled by such nonsense. Fools who get themselves killed for nothing. Only to be celebrated as heroes in books like this. Writers of these stories are worse than tyrants. They seize control of people's thoughts. That's a little much. I was only interested in... I don't care. Such blind enthusiasm is dangerous. Be more moderate in your passions. You know something, Felix? You are exactly like the knight in this story. Excuse me? On the surface, he's sarcastic and intimidating, but underneath, he's kind and cares for his friends. In the end, they become heroes together and conquer all obstacles. Disgusting. Stop looking at me like that. Oh, see, right there. That's just what I mean. You sound exactly like him. <sighs> I'm going to lend you this book, really, I insist. Just give it a read, all right? Trust me, and you can tell me what you think when you're done. Why is this happening? Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. Now it's time to fill my tummy tummy tum. Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. I hope I'm not interrupting. Felix, you weren't listening, were you? I heard enough to know that you're hungry. No, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. You have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering the plants. You're evil, Felix! And you're shouting. You can't just spy on people while they're singing without even saying anything! It's not right! I actually did call out that I was coming in. It's not my fault you didn't hear. Well, you need to speak louder then! Ugh, this is so embarrassing. And of course I was singing some silly food song I made up. I should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties. I didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties. That food song seemed to be close to your heart. Your stomach isn't far from your heart after all. Oh, you are the worst! Huh. What was that about? I'd better water these plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing too. Oh, Ash! Are you here to study too? 
I am. It's quiet here. Easier to concentrate. <sighs> it really is. Hey, would you like to study together? We can help each other out if we get stuck. Oh, yes. We'll get a lot more done working together. Uh, hmm. What's the matter, Ash? This question's got me stumped. A ballista inside a castle is ready to fire at enemies outside. What angle should be used for the shot? Assume the ballista is the same as those in Garig Mach. Ignore the effects of wind. This is for defensive strategy, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Don't you just aim and fire? Hmm... It may help to focus on maximizing target accuracy to reduce your miss rate. To start, let's sort out the setup. Let's see... Using these ballista specifications... If the ballista corals follow this trajectory, they'll hit the enemy lines, right? Oh, that makes sense! Because the enemy line will be here! That's it! Okay, now try using that same technique and applying it to this other problem. If the walls are this high and the enemy lines are at that distance... Oh, I think I see! I knew you'd get it. Wow, I didn't expect math of all things to be useful in a siege. This is tough. Numbers are not my strong suit. But this really is the sort of thing you have to know if you want to command troops. That's true, but not everyone is good with numbers. That's why we have tacticians do these calculations for us, or prepare them before we go to battle. A century ago, the Empire's mathematicians played a huge role in the Battle of the Wall of Fodlan. I had no idea. Hey, you really know what you're doing, Annette. You think so? Definitely. You've obviously done a lot of studying. I really admire that. I suppose I have. Studying is a necessity if you want the advantage over your enemies. <laughs> but necessity aside, it's nice to hear you say that. Thanks so much for the help. We should be able to manage on our own from here. I'm glad to be of use. If there's anything else you need, come find me anytime. Well, well. You seem to be pretty chummy with the knights. Chummy? I suppose. Really, I was just helping out with some equipment repairs. For an assignment or something? No. It just looked like they could use a hand, so I lent one. To me, it looked like they were using you for some unpaid labor. Unpaid labor? <laughs> I helped them because I wanted to, Happy. I wasn't expecting to be paid. It's like when you help us with our assignments. We don't pay you for that, do we? Like I have a choice. Can I give you some advice, Freckles? Don't support the Knights, the Church, any of them. All you'll get in return is a knife in the back. Isn't that a little... dramatic? You really don't need to worry about that with most people. You're naive. Those two-faced buffoons exasperate me so much I can hardly help but... Oh, ah, uh, hey! That reminds me of a great story. You have to hear this one. It's called, um... Oh! The Luna Knight's Tale. Yeah, I, I think you'll love this. On second thought, maybe a story about a knight isn't what you want to hear right now. You know, the knights in stories aren't like the ones in real life. Unless the Luna Knight is a liar who does terrible things. No, of course not. The Luna Knight is the hero of the story. She's from an offshoot of House Blathed, marries into House Regan after the Crescent Moon War. In peacetime, she sets aside her weapons and devotes herself to giving wise counsel to her husband. In this role, she ensures that the dishonest and unfaithful are dealt with accordingly. Huh. She sounds like a real hero. Very much so, yes. The tale is full of fascinating details about her. Ash, I'm sorry to interrupt, but if you're not too busy, we could really use your help right now. Of course. Be right there. I'll tell you the rest of the tale later, okay, Happy? Um, sure, I guess. But seriously, watch yourself, okay? I don't want you to learn I'm right the hard way. See ya, Freckles. I can hardly wait to hear that riveting story of yours. Using me? Never thought about it that way. 
Yes! Time for food! Hey, Ignatz! Is this seat taken? Oh, hey, Raphael. I'm done eating, so you can sit here if you like. Really? But there's still food on your... Uh, it's fine. I'm not that hungry. Anyway, I guess I'll be heading off. Oh. Okay. Hey, Ignatz! Wanna train with me? Uh, oh my! That equipment's looking rusty. Let me fetch some oil. What's the matter? It always looks like that. Come on, we'll take care of it later. No, you have to do it as soon as you notice. There's oil in the warehouse, I'll be right back. Hey, Ignatz. Uh, hello, Raphael. Are you busy? I need to talk to you. No, uh, that's... Oh, almost forgot. It's time to return this book to the library. I'll just... Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. Are you seriously going to keep running away from me? What? No, I'm not running. Yes, you are. Every time I try to talk to you, you make up some excuse and run. What's going on? You were a lot friendlier to me when we were kids. You were always so excited to show me all the neat stuff you had whenever I came to visit. We'd play hide-and-seek with my little sis, draw pictures, and do other fun stuff, too. Remember all that? Things can't be the way they were. It's regrettable, but it's the truth. Regrettable? What's there to regret? I mean, you know, what happened to your parents? My parents are the reason your parents died. What are you talking about? My parents died in an accident while traveling for work. Maybe so, but they were taking over for mine. Because they had other business that day and couldn't go themselves. So... They recommended yours to fill in for them. Huh. I didn't know that. But what does that have to do with our friendship? No, but see, I... Oh, see. But we're done talking about this. You gotta stop beating yourself up over it. It was an accident. He's just putting on a brave face. No one is that forgiving. Mm, the Myrmidon. Ha! Sit yourself. My gut says the odds are in favor of that mercenary. He's clearly a seasoned fu- Yeah! Right when I open my big mouth, he goes and loses on me. <laughs> I win. Again. Had enough, Balthus. Damn you, you've won every round. The fights are rigged. Admit it, it's the only explanation. <laughs> of course they aren't. It's not like we're playing for money. We wouldn't be so foolish now, would we? <laughs> You're the one who started this silly game anyway. So out with it. You lost? Spill the beans. It has to be juicy, though. Something that leaves you a bit... vulnerable. Why did I agree to these stakes? If this losing streak keeps up, you'll know an awful lot about me, pal. Let's see... Okay, got one. A few years back, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bird beast in some ancient ruins. <sighs> this one again? You obliterated the ruins, and the lord who found out put a price on your head. You've told me a thousand times before. Good story bears repeating, yeah? But it seems I'm all out of anecdotes. How about I take my shirt off and let you look your fill instead? Two full minutes. Oh, come now. As if I'm interested in seeing your sweaty torso for the umpteenth time. If you're fresh out of stories, then I have a question for you. About your crest. Hit me where it hurts, why don't you? Is this your idea of negotiation? Perhaps. Or perhaps I'm simply curious. Tell me, how did you come across such a rarity? To my knowledge, nobody within House Albrecht has your crest. Why well, ask what you already know? You've got your own rare crest, so I'm sure you figured it out. Unless you think the goddess gave us these things while we slept. <laughs> Wait, do you? Hey now, 
I'm the one winning the bets, so I'm the one asking the questions. Got me there. Hey, look! The next round's starting. My luck's about to turn around. I can feel it. Let's do you a favor and call it good here. No need to embarrass yourself further, friend. Even if I'm terrible at this, I can't walk away during a losing streak. I have my own sort of honor. <sighs> All right, Balthus. Check out those two Myrmidons. The two who were eating together earlier? Huh. Who knew they were opponents? I kind of figured. Thoughts? Well, that one's pretty beefy. Quick on his feet, too. Clearly, a seasoned fighter. His opponent's okay, but a bit showy. Compensating for being newer at this would be my guess. Mm-hmm. So, make your choice. Thank you. First guy, no doubt about it. You can see from a mile away that... He lost! Well, that was quick. Not everything is as it appears. For example, were you and I to go at it, perhaps you'd bet in favor of yourself over me. And you'd lose. I'd use my cunning to ensure my victory. By any means necessary. Maybe I'd slip something into your food. Level the playing field. You see now? Point taken. I'll keep that in mind for this next one. Gotta put that great advice to the test, right? <laughs> Ever the bold one. It seems we must continue these games until you finally concede. This is boring. Mind if I sleep? You know, I won't care. Night watch or not, it's still just for training purposes. Though, you'd likely get in trouble if someone sees you catching Z's. You wouldn't wake me if someone was here? Fine then, I won't sleep. Your call. Being so quiet, Yuri Bird. Say something. I don't always fill the void with my voice, you know. Sometimes it's pleasant to just enjoy the quiet and stargaze. No thanks. Stargazing is a waste of time. The stars don't even stay put all year. Those jerks. See that one? That star is home to the goddess. Yeah. Watching over us from afar. Hmm. That's called the Blue Sea Star, but it doesn't look blue. At all, really. Wait, no, hang on. Maybe it wasn't that one. But that big one over there, that's it! Isn't it? You don't know the first thing about stars, do you? No one ever taught you? Never, no. Well, the Blue Sea Star is really big. It stands out. Sometimes you can't see it at all but other times, it's the brightest thing in the sky. Interesting. So then, which star was I pointing out just now? You might have to point it out again. Which constellation were you looking at? Let's see, uh... It looks a bit like a cat. No, no, that's not right. Maybe more like a fish? Or a... fishing rod? <laughs> what? I'm serious. See... Those stars there are forming a shape that looks very much like a fishing rod. <laughs> okay, sorry. But that looks nothing like a fishing rod. Or a cat. I'm surprised you know so little about stars. I thought you knew everything. Who do you think I am? The goddess herself? There is plenty I don't know. But I'm always aiming to learn more. I'm uncomfortable not knowing things. So, come on then, Happy. Teach me about the stars. That'll be a pain for both of us. As painful as sitting here idling? It's not like you're going to sleep at this point. Clearly you know quite a bit about them. Teach me. Fine, fine. Look up to the north. Your other north. See that star? That's called the king's right hand. 
I think I get it now. I'm looking sharp, huh? Professor. I am having a report, Professor. Mastery is within my grasp! Ah, it's clear to me. I'd never have learned this back. This isn't so hard. It's all coming together. It all makes sense now. Now I see the heart of it. Hmm, I see. I get it! I learn with my heart, not my...